Hello and welcome to December's um, Diabetes Technology Report. In this video, as always, I'll get you up to speed on what happened in the diabetes technology world over the last month, and this includes FDA's approval of Tandem's Control IQ, Christmas, Inchulet's official launch of Omnipod Dash in Europe, Clues acquisition by Medtronic and a lot more. Artificial pancreas, implantable CGMs, insulin pens, systems. Let's start with Control IQ from Tandem. This is second ever closed loop system to be approved by the FDA. This give me more insulin high and give me less insulin low system. Um, is actually first in many categories, so let's talk a little bit about it. So first of all, it's the first ever interoperable controller. So what does that mean? Well, the approval is for the algorithm itself, for the brain behind how much insulin to give you, and so on. And it is fully independent of the device which it is on, and the continuous glucose monitor which currently works with it. And so why is this relevant? Well. Tandem already announced that they are working with Abbott to integrate the Freestyle Libre system into Tandem's insulin pump. This is all to enable us to choose which CGM we want to use. This approval basically means that this approved Control IQ algorithm could work with any approved ICGM as long as there is a business relationship between Tandem and the CGM manufacturer. Interoperability here also goes further than just the CGM. So you know the T-Sport patch pump that Tandem is working on? Because this approval is just for the algorithm, just for the brain behind how much insulin to give you, Tandem can also use the same approval for Control IQ in the upcoming T-Sport patch pump as long as they approve the T-Sport as an ACE pump, which is the interoperable pump. Another first is Auto Bolus for high glucose level. So it will actually give you a small bolus to correct a high glucose level and or set a temporary basal rate. Control IQ will do up to one correction bolus per hour. Control IQ also has some other really cool features. One of them is called sleep activity, which is basically bedtime mode. So you can either schedule your bedtime and wake up time in your pump settings, or you can just manually enable it every single time you go to bed. And when you're in bedtime mode, sleep activity mode, your target glucose range is much tighter, uh, resulting in much tight control overnight, and also automatic bolus corrections are disabled. So you pump will not give you an automatic uh, bolus to correct high glucose overnight, it will just use background insulin to either increase or decrease your insulin delivery. Control IQ also has an exercise mode similar to what you will find on Metronix 67TG which will enable you to set a higher um, temporary target before exercise or during exercise so to avoid hypoglycemia during physical exercise. Now before I continue with um, Control IQ I just wanted to acknowledge the fact that my iPad's battery has just died. Um, so unfortunately you will not be able to see my glucose levels uh, for the rest of this video. I do apologize. Um, for full transparency, I am 4.9 and stable. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah. Kids, remember to charge your iPad. Control IQ, just like Basil IQ, will be available as a free software update to all in warranty T-Slim X2 insulin users in the US. International launch has not been announced yet. It will be available to US customers by the end of January. Like this January, like January 2020, like within the next 30 days. It's actually kind of crazy to think that we're already in an era where the physical things, the hardware, is getting so good. The you know physical pumps, physical CGMs are getting so good that vast majority of the innovation is happening in a software space, and approval of software and rollout of software is a million times faster than hardware. 
Um, and so, uh, it's, it's crazy how we can get our hands on these things so quickly. So yeah, buckle up, we've got quite a decade ahead of us, I think. <laughs> and lastly, I just want to give a huge shout out to the documentation team at Tandem. Because videos explaining how Control IQ works are probably some of the best videos, like tutorial-like videos, I have seen in a really, really long time. Like, honestly, they are so good, so packed with information, so easy to understand, like, so visual, like, honestly, great job. Next up, Clue has just been acquired by Metronic. Now, I've talked about Clue a lot in this video. I am a massive Clue fan. So, quick background. Clue is an Apple Watch app which is basically able to detect that you are eating food. So, I'm totally going to admit this. I sometimes forget to bolus. I am a human being and I forget to do all sorts of things, including bolusing. So, sometimes halfway through the meal or at the end of the meal, I'm, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I forgot to bolus. Also, like, waffles are delicious. And so the idea with Clue is that because on your wrist, because your Apple Watch is able to kind of detect that movement, it will send you a small notification saying, have you remembered to bolus? And you can say, yes, I've bolused, or no, I haven't. And then you can do it, resulting in smaller impact on your blood glucose level. Well, now Medtronic acquired Clue and they want to use Clue technology to um, make their closed loop systems smarter. Medtronic is also expected to use this technology for MDI users of their CGM system. I think both cases are fantastic and they make a lot of sense and I'm excited to see what happens to Clue from now on. Actually, if you live in the US, you can already start using Clue. Uh, you can register and be part of their research kind of beta program. So you can find the link in the video description. Now I couldn't really think of a better camera shot to do the part about Omnipod Dash in Europe than this one directly in front of my Omnipod wall, which as you can see is going quite well. It's flashing. Um, I hope that's not too distracting. <laughs> so Omnipod Dash has been officially launched in Europe with first um, dashes, um, podders, dashes, dash podders. Um, already um, using Omnipod Dash in the UK and the Netherlands. Dash is the next generation Omnipod product which uses a touchscreen PDM and Bluetooth to communicate with a new Bluetooth based pod. Dash also connects to your phone and allows you to see loads of information about your system such as insulin on board, last bolus and many more. Also Roche Diabetes Care received a C mark for its AcuCheck Sugar View app. Sugar View determines blood glucose level by simply taking two photographs of your blood test strip. This has been developed for non-insulin dependent people with type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes. And lastly, Eli Lilly, the insulin drug manufacturer, signed an agreement with Dexcom to use Dexcom CGM in Eli Lilly's uh, personalized uh, diabetes management system. Eli Lilly's system is still in development and it will have two platforms, a pump platform and a pen platform. The pump platform will be their close-up system and the pen platform will combine the power of a CGM with a pen technology uh, using an app. And so thank you so much for watching, um, have a fantastic 2020, happy new year, um, thank you so much for supporting me in 2019 uh, and watch my videos and commenting and all of that, it always means the world. Um, and yeah, hope your 2020 will be great, hope your 2019 was also great, happy new year and happy new decade. Um, it will definitely be a really interesting one in the diabetes space. Also, uh, please let me know what kind of videos you would want me to do. And um, yeah, please let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, all the best. Um, and I see you in the next one.